How goes it, friend? Where to find me? This better be good. What do you need? We're finished here. You look like you need some shooting practice. Now we're talking. Then wanderer. Two shots sent a mass and one to the head. Back again, huh? 
Here to chat, I hope. I can tell you right now, you won't be disappointed. Come round again sometime, here. Yeah? What can I do for you, friend? Well, shoot, trap! <laughs> Stop me if I told you this one already. There's an old man what lives at the center of a maze. Or does he live at the gate to the maze? I don't, uh... I don't matter. This old man sees everything. And I don't mean like he can see whatever he wants when he wants. I mean, he sees everything all at once. That ain't all. The old man in the maze is a maker. The maze, see, is like a spider web full of doors, stretching its threads ever which way. And this watcher man sits at the center. And he don't just watch. He makes. Where there ain't a door, he makes one. And then, he makes what's on the other side of it, too. Ho, 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 I can see on your face you ain't buying it. But I tell you, this Earth of ours is just one door in a dozen hundred. And if in this maze watcher decides he wants some place to end, all he got to do is snap a thread and poof, no more door, no more world. <laughs> Here's a good one. It's about the time my own damn son left me to die. Oh, don't worry, I'm still here, ain't I? Or he, he went to get some grub for us or whatever, I don't know. Point is, I was alone in the darkened woods with nothing but my rifle. We was on our way from the city to our new home in the ward here. Carrying all my earthly possessions and all that, and Brabus, he up and leaves me in the middle of the night. I was attacked. Twenty. No, 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 no. Fifty dead would come crashing through the trees. We thought they was all dead and gone, but they were just a waiting for old Mud Tooth to leave his helio chopper. Now, I may be an old mudder, but I ain't no pushover. I blasted them down, left. And right, laughing all the time. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. I was winning until something snuck up on me and concustipated me upside the head. I don't mind telling you, I thought I was done for. Then a growling starts. Deadwood back off, and I look up to see a dog there tearing them apart, literal limb from non metaphorical limb. We fought the rest off together, that dog and I, and I thought to myself, now there's a mutter what's got some teeth. Turns out he just wanted some of my stew. <laughs> Let me see here. Ho ho! I ever tell you the secret behind my stew? Well, I ain't gonna! <laughs> but I will tell you how it came to be. Yeah, the original recipe comes from my ma, of course. But that ain't the end of the story. My ma made a fine stew. But it weren't nothing to tell tales about. Not until the day me and the crazy eight got ourselves trapped in one of them old, uh, medieval, uh, meditating, uh... We was trapped in one of them medicinal compounds, full of pharmaceuticals and whatever you call them. And I had nothing but a dead coney and an onion on my belt, which weren't good for much, but were the style at the time. So, we scrounged for ingredients. Well... Them hospitalities ain't no good for food, but they do have some pretty mean spices lying around if you know what you're doing, which I do. That night was the best stew any of us ever had in our lives. Kept us going for days until finally 
the dead wood outside got bored and took off. And that, friend, is the same stew I make today. I even use the same ingredients as them back in the day medicinals. <laughs> Better even. You'll like this one. Let me tell you what those folks were up to in that atoll, that, uh, that Ward 10 and 7. That was where they did their experimenting, see? They made weapons for the USA. That's what this land was called back then. And, uh, the root, see? They were, uh, they were, ooh, uh. What? Oh! Uh, 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 let me see here. And the root, you see. They were cloned! Yes, sir. They found root D and A trapped in red amber, and they done built themselves an army. But this army, it got out of hand and turned against them. Couldn't tell the difference between the Usanaeans and, 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 and whatever else there was. Pretty good weapon, if you ask me. Nyon slaughtered the whole damn world! Makes you think, though. What else were them Usanaeans capable of? Maybe it's for the best they ain't around no more. Sure can. Well, let's see. Ah, ain't no one on this planet more beautiful or dangerous than the Moth Queen. She rules an old swamp about a hundred miles off in, uh, uh, that direction. Folks say, if you climb one of these here towers on a clear night, you can see the swamp lights a-flashing. But, them ain't no ordinary swamp lights. And she ain't no ordinary queen. She don't lead her people. Who really ain't even people, come to think of it. Anyways, the Moth Queen draws her folk to her like a... Well, like a moth, I guess. That's how the saying goes. Anyway, she captures folks with her beauty and her mothy pulchritude. And she never lets them go. She infects their mind so they never want to leave. And she turns them into... into something else. If you head off that way, keep your wits about you. Cause that swamp used to be a city as big as this one. But no more. No more. This one's, uh, 100% true. You want to know the truth about young Bo over there? To start off with, the boy ain't all that young. I mean, sure, he ain't nothing to old Mudtooth, but ain't a lot of folks around who remember him as a boy no more. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you. Bo Ward, he made a deal with the Wanderer. Don't believe me? <laughs> it was Bo who met the Wanderer at old Ward 10 and 3. And it was Bo who took him over to that Ward Goose Egg, the one where the route started. He won't admit it, but it was Bo what rescued Clementine and shut the door on the dead wood for good. The boy's more than he tells, and a good deal more than he knows. Why else would folks around here put him in charge of everything? You know, I actually can't think of another good one. Curse of getting old, I guess. Let me rest my mind eyes and my brain thoughts. Maybe some more will come to me. Well, you take care now.
My sister never told me. Never knew. So many ages wasted. And now children, so rearing them like children, always coddling, never tasting. But now, now Mary's juicy plot has led to such delicious. This world holds such delectable delicacies, but you, oh, you are exquisite.
Clementine isn't here. So, what now? Hmm. Guess I'll just find the nearest world stone.